Welcome to the Crazy Time Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT, I have something I love to talk to you about. No. Whenever there's Overwatch drama going on. Oh, wow. Do I even know about this? I think you probably, I mean, you probably do. I don't even so know. So I heard through a little birdie called Reddit that there is an- some new passes out. No. <laughs> And even if you get, even if you pay for the premium battle pass or whatever the fuck it is, you can't even get all of the things that are offered through the event. And I heard that Jared Noss, I guess he's some big wig. He he put out a little statement on Twitter or something saying that he thought it was generous that they offered some skins and I guess the skins that they were offering were just recolored old skins. They weren't some even them, anything yeah. new. So the the Iliari skin is pretty kick ass though. And so is the Reinhardt one. It's a pretty good skin. Um Wow. Really? This really? Is what, what? This is what you dug up. You dug up some Overwatch news because you know I'm ahead. Every look, time I know you have something to say about it. I know man. Look, I I've I, I have to say is that when it comes to the pricing models in these free to play game as a service games, yeah. The only thing I really care about is A access to the game and B that the game runs well. Yes. These are cosmetic items. Right. The entirety of the Overwatch community, certain aspects of it are in uproar over it because there's a few skins that are gated behind it that people want. There's a Mercy skin. Mercy is the most popular character in the game. Still? Yes. 100%. Old school head, still player, because she's been around since the game's inception. Uh, she's the most popular character among, among women who play the game. Yeah, yeah. And for rule 33, 43, 34. <laughs> and it seems like no matter who you are, you know who Mercy from Overwatch is. Huh? Yeah. Elon Musk got his got his woman dressing up at her and everything. Look, they come out with an Amber Heard Mercy skin for the game. <laughs> Amber Heard Mercy skin. Does it dookie in a bed? <laughs> it better. Uh, but but okay. So so what, what's, what's Overwatch the- aside? It's I think it's ethics that if you're making someone pay for something to access a thing. Yes. And then you can't even get all the things that are offered. Granted, some of them are BS, like name card plates and things like that. Yeah. But why should, why, like, how are you going to pay? That's like, I feel the same way about paying for a streaming service that still has ads. I'm like, I'm paying you and still have to watch ads? Like, what the, is that? Okay. I'm paying to watch and I still have to watch ads. Okay, so you don't have to pay for anything, though, is the key. You don't have to pay for anything. You okay, don't have then what's to watch, the premium whatever? You don't have to watch the ads because you don't have to pay for the TV. You don't even have to turn it on. You don't have to turn on Overwatch. So essentially it's a seasonal pa- battle pass for like a the Winter Fair event. Right, it's and like the com- same thing Fortnite does. Yeah, and you get like so many tickets on a free track just from playing the game. Just playing the game, you get you get free tickets and at the end of the event, you get to pick a a, a skin. I think you get maybe one or two or whatever. Whatever, whatever, yeah. If you buy it, then you get way more tickets, but it's only it's $5 and it lasts for the entire event and you get way more tickets and you have the opportunity to get like the uh, the legendary skins, the ones that look really nice. And I mean, but, but what are we talking? We're talking about skins. We're talking about cosmetics. We're talking about pixels on a screen. Oh, stuff that I don't care about. You know me. So, you know my stance on that. Yeah, I know. And it just comes from the fact is that like there's so many p- new people playing this game and a lot of the old people don't like the new the new uh the new model for the company which is the game is free to play the skins cost money now we're used to getting them for free i am too been playing the game for a long time you need you just need to sh- they need to chill yeah you need to chill you i need to chill. am gonna have a hot take at that when any game goes free to play they stop caring about what the content of the game is I will say is that there's some truth to that. I will say that even in Overwatch, I've noticed like a decline in the cosmetics. I've noticed a decline in like it feels like, you know, they just start pushing stuff out there in order to generate money. And that's transactions, true. right? Yeah. yeah. And that's true. Now, granted, a lot of people say is that you need that money to be infused so that you can keep 
stuff coming so you can keep new stuff coming we right. need new heroes we need new uh emotes we need new right and they gotta pay their i mean they, the people they pay to make the game aren't getting paid zero dollars exactly and they went years and years without earning any money for it but you know you sold a a triple a title at 60 dollars. sorry that's what that's what happens man it's popular right 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 well, so, well and i think it's like eventually it all goes like that because like even games like you know games like destiny games like um yeah. because like if you're only putting out if you're making someone pay 60 bucks and you're only putting out one dlc for 20 dollars mm -hmm. once a year mm -hmm. that's very little revenue coming into the game exactly. and people play it forever exactly. so it's like so eventually you're like okay let everyone play it and we'll let you buy all these cosmetic items to help. Essentially, it's like people are donating money to the game exactly. to keep going. And they're giving you a cosmetic. I mean, you're getting something rather than saying, something. please donate to us. Yeah. And if and like, and like I say, if you walk into I, my 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 final word to the people out there who have a problem with this, if you walk into a store and you don't like the price of those clothes, then you don't buy the clothes. So and it does not change the way you can interact with people out there in the world. Just don't buy those clothes. Yeah, for you know, your I was don't I was so against Destiny Two going to the microtransaction model mm -hmm. that they get the currency was what silver, right? Yeah, Eververse. <laughs> they get ga they gave you when they when they started it, they gave you like five hundred silver for free to like go and buy something from the store yeah, with. Yeah, 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 I yeah. never spent that five hundred free silver and never put a dollar into the game after that. And I'd be and, lying if I said I did not. Right. I mean, and then we have another buddy that was on here, and he was like, "Oh, dude, I put a lot of money." Yeah, into that. yeah, yeah. And guess what? He doesn't even play the game anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know what? If they made those emotes NFTs and you could use them in a different game because you, you, they transferred from game to game, that'd be value. Nobody cares about that shit. <laughs> You're trying to tell me if he couldn't use that Destiny uh, emote in Minecraft, listen. he wouldn't do it today? Tell who, me he would Listen, who is the gamer in the house? You. Okay. Who do you think is more in tune with gamer culture in the house? I mean, you. Gamers, do you think that he would not I, use that Destiny emote in Minecraft? No. <laughs> if he could, maybe. But still, yeah, just because you can't, sometimes people don't know the value of something because it's not available. That's never going to happen because Bungie and Microsoft are never going to collab like that. <laughs> but it's not about collab; it's about ownership. Mo Mojang don't need Bungie. <laughs> Mojang lab wipes his ass with Bungie. I look, we ain't we ain't gonna argue NFTs because that's that's a whole nother story. If you want to talk about something I think is polarizing, yes, the price of in-game content, sure. Regardless, but NFTs universally hated by gamers, universally. But they're gonna be coded. They're gonna be disguised as nobody not NFTs. cares. They're gonna be nope. disguised as not NFTs. I'm nobody telling you, nobody cares. Hey. Nobody wants it. Nobody, you keep them out of my games. That's what they're we gonna say. They're going to be in your game. You're not even going to know they're NFTs. You keep your NFTs out of our games. That's the second you can say. sell your skin, you're selling NFTs. They already do that. They're selling they NFTs. Did, they did it with with uh, the, the Diablo 2 in the marketplace. They do it with WoW. They did it with CSGO. Yes, these things, these, these infrastructures already exist. But when you start trying to get real sneaky with the NFT bullshit that got everybody where fucking Azalea Banks was selling like farts over a fucking track and selling it to people for forty five thousand dollars. <laughs> no, nah, we're not we're not dealing with that. Yeah, but look it up. Uh, Azalea but, but Banks listen, NFT. Especially, especially with how much the Never. Overwatch skins cost. Mm. Right. So what if you bought it for twenty dollars right no. now? They stop selling it no. and then you can sell it on the marketplace. And and Bungie and not Bungie. Uh, no. What's the name of the goddamn company? No. So get the cut of it. Oh wow, no. <laughs> Still no. You wouldn't sell an old Mercy skin. It's too hard. It's too much work. It's too much work. What if man. it was just you went to the thing and went? Hey, look, so you remember the day where you just take the cartridge and you and you put it in the system and you play the game? Yes. All right. You remember how hard it was when they started charging for stuff and we were like, we're never going to buy anything and, you know, you're never going to buy. It. Okay, fine. We got over that. We got to the battle pass. Fine. We got there. We're getting now you're trying NFTs. to get us to this NFT shit. I'm going to tell you right now is that as good as the ideas may sound and whatever, 
current day gamers are not falling for that shit. Generation Z is not falling for that Gen shit. Gen Alpha will. You come back. Gen you, Alpha will. You come back in maybe 20, 30 years and we can rediscover this. But right now, crypto, crypto shaky. I know it's going back up. Bitcoin's higher than it's been in a month. What the fuck ever? Cryptcoin's shaky because people don't trust it. NFTs are shaky because people don't trust it. And, and gamers already got enough dealing with like these fucking shady developers who are out here like sexually harassing their employees and shit <coughs> overwatch um and so we got enough to look out for we don't want to look out for shady crypto uh the, the, the nft skins you're not even are gonna, these authentic skins you're i don't not know even gonna know it's an nft uh like i said these infrastructures already exist it's nothing new to us it's nothing new to us but even when you look at these infrastructures that have already existed in games there's still a lot of people that have been taken csgo oh don't even get me started on the csgo oh my god guys i got a new gun look at this gun come to my website and roll with me you can gamble your money away and get a gun the NFTs guarantee authenticity. In the episode. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's all the time we have today's episode. Go to the crazy for Jonas. No. <laughs> that's TNT. We out. <laughs>